so will they strike black gold and what will be the cost? Let's ask our next guest. He's Gerald Groman. He's chief executive at Shola Blackman, an oil services company that specializes in drilling equipment. Uh, Gerald Groman, thanks indeed for joining us. You know, of course, we can talk about drilling in the South Atlantic now, but it does only work if oil prices rise above a certain level, making it economic. So what sort of oil price do we need to make this actually efficient? Well, I think uh, what we have to uh, say is that the uh, present level of oil prices between, let's say, $70, uh, $80 a barrel is sufficient for uh, the majority of uh, ENP projects uh, in the world. Now, you are, of course, uh, partly into this, uh, I, I believe you call it um, a vertical exploration uh, taking place in this part of the world, and you also have horizontal exploration also taking place. Um, you know, walk us through the process here, particularly when it, as it applies to South, uh, the South Atlantic. Well, in general, we have to say that uh, the easy oil is gone, and um, what remains is uh, more uh, difficult to find, harder to drill, and more expensive to produce. Um, so uh, the uh, world will not uh, run out of oil, uh, but it will be found in more remote areas, uh, more uh, difficult to access, like uh, deep water, ultra deep water, or in Arctic regions. And um, therefore, um, we will uh, need increasing ENP budgets uh, to make such uh, projects feasible. Where else in the world are we talking about here, which is going to be the next big oil find? Well, um, I do not expect um, many giant uh, fields uh, to be found. Uh, the opposite will be the case, um, that uh, in areas um, where uh, we couldn't get access uh, so far for oil drilling. Uh, as I mentioned already, ultra deep water, which is uh, water depth uh, uh, below uh, 1,500 meters, or the Arctic uh, region. Uh, I think these are the regions uh, where uh, the additional oil uh, that the world uh, needs will come. So, you know, what is the advantage here of using directional drilling rather than the classic vertical pattern that people use? Well, um, uh, the big advantage is uh, that you increase uh, the recovery uh, rate uh, of an oil field and uh, you tap uh, the oil reservoir uh, more uh, precise. Um, uh, this is um, uh, the biggest advantage um, because uh, much of the oil has to be found in so-called brown fields um, where uh, you find only some remaining uh, pockets of oil and uh, you can uh, directly target uh, this oil uh, with this uh, uh, high technology directional drilling. Uh, yeah, we're talking about, you know, your company is involved with this particular type of activity. What sort of market share are you looking at and how do you increase it? Um, well, um, we supply the high precision parts for this uh, technology and uh, we have a worldwide market share between 50 and 60 percent. All right, so which are the technological trends we're talking about and how does Shola, Shola Blackman actually at the moment participate in these trends? Um, well, uh, talking about directional drilling uh, is one important aspect um, of uh, exp uh, exploration. I think uh, what we are going to see uh, in the future, and we have been seeing uh, that already in the recent past, is uh, that uh, we uh, go uh, deeper and, and further out uh, on the horizontal leg, uh, which means uh, the challenges uh, that we are going to meet is higher pressures uh, and higher temperatures. Just to give an example, um, pressures exceed uh, 25,000, 30,000 psi or 2,000 bar. Um, if you compare that with the pressure that you have in your tire, which is about two bar, you see that it's uh, really high pressure. Temperatures are exceeding 200 degrees centigrade. Um, so uh, this is uh, one part of the technologi technological ch uh, change and, and challenge. Um, Gerald another, uh, We're just yeah. out of time, but thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Joel Groman there, he's uh, from Schiller Blackman, uh, joining us there from uh, the beautiful city, city of Vienna. Now, while